So. Vroom, vroom! <laughs> <laughs> All right. <sighs> Welcome back to the Tabletop Standards, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we are going to do something a little different on the show today. Uh, we're going to take these Space Marine Outriders, uh, which is what they are, and we're going to paint them up, and then we're going to put them on a base, and we're going to make little dioramas out of them. Um, I'm going to probably break with tradition and not do Black Templars with these guys, because um, I already have a bike squad of Black Templars, so don't really need anything else. Uh, and then I don't know what in the hey howdy Jeff's going to do, but uh, I'm sure. I have an something. idea. All right, cool. I'm not going to tell you what it is. You'll have to figure it out. Uh, I mean, we'll, we'll put it together as we go. Hey, and now we have our uh, nice new um, Citadel box full of paints. Um, Contrasts over here. Yep. May or may be off camera deciding what you do. Yeah. But uh, actually, you know what? Why don't you uh, why don't you whip that thing around here? Uh, that so we can have a little bit easier access to it. Wait, whip. What around? Bring the bring the contrast paints over. Over where? Like here-ish. You know, you say that it will be easier, but it'll only be easier for you. And when it gets right down to it, that's all I really care about. <laughs> yeah, that's well, not I'm true. Gonna, yeah, I'm gonna just shift that over. over. Yeah. Hmm. So we're yeah. just gonna. Yeah, Get just right into it. Just go right into it, unless you've got a, unless you want to explain yourself. <laughs> no. Okay. Yeah, they fit snug in there, so you just kind of give it a yank. I'm gonna start with Wazdaka Red. Okay. And if there's a black somewhere, um, I have a flat black, a chaos black, or I have uh, flat, please. Yeah, it's. I think it's this one. Yep, you don't have even, it on black. You don't even know? Well, because I can't see it from this angle. <laughs> um, and then I have this uh, black Templar, which I promised myself I wasn't going to use. Let's get some, let's get some Mantis Warrior out here. So we're going to use... Uh, Here's a small brush. Mm -hmm. Here's a quick paint. Okay. I'm going to just start off by painting the wheels. Okay, good start. I'm going to see if I like the look of this Militarum Green real quick here. Yeah, it's really not too bad. Oh, that fingered. <laughs> so I'm going to try to See if CJ can guess what I'm doing here. It's gonna be it's pretty. It's a bike. Sh God damn it! <laughs> 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 All right. Well, maybe it's not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> you blew it. <laughs> uh. Maybe I'll just like surprise CJ and just do a black Templar bike and like ah. see he'll be like, I didn't even know you knew that color. I was like, yeah, I'm secretly is super into Warhammer. <laughs> surprise, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, wow, you've been putting up a really good act. <laughs> so I'm starting off with the Creed camo. Um, the other the other green that I grabbed was a little bit too olive drab for my liking. I wanted it a little bit darker. So, and I didn't want to go with Dark Angel's green, because that's, eh. Plus, that would make them look like they were Ravenwing bikers from the dark actual Dark Angels, and that's not what I'm going for. So, so we're just going to... Actual Dark Angels. Dun, dun, dun. So, we're just going to kind of go for this kind of mid-tone green here. I'm still going to do the Akira bike. Yeah, so, uh, it's a good look. I mean, it's just 
the the red with the black tires just kind of gave it away for me. <laughs> I was like, okay, let's. It's so iconic that it's yeah. kind of like. We're suddenly, suddenly extremely uninteresting here. Um, so, hey, the uh, the idea behind it, behind this. Uh, <coughs> thing was so uh if you can't see it yeah i'm sure you can see it on camera now um these lids that i have go to scented candles but they're perfect size for like small diorama and so i just kept a hold of them like yeah, i'll do something with it and then i was kind of panicking for ideas this morning <laughs> like what we should do i was like ah of course <laughs> the thing that i was holding on to these things for of course of course it's a rainy rainy day yep thing Get in there. <laughs> yeah, there we go. It's a fat of green bow, eh? Right? <laughs> Ooh, that's a really solid poppy red. I like yeah. that. <laughs> really solid poppy. I poppy. No. Nope, 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 <laughs> nope. <laughs> I was like, oh. I, I guess as soon as I said that, I was like, what nope, am I doing? Nope, 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 nope. Let's, uh, let's rethink our life choices real quick. Uh, so one of the really nice things, and I'm pretty sure I've said this before, but the nice thing that I've found about contrast paints is that um, because of their particular viscosity, um, you can kind of – just like oh man, I need more. Well, I just go to the <laughs> go to where there's a little bit more on the uh, on the model, and I just kind of wick that away, sort that out myself. <laughs> mm -hmm. So worrying about oh no, I've got there's no paint on the brush. <laughs> okay, so go big green. Oh no, what'd you do? I just realized I'm at common. Uh, I'm I'm about two steps away from making common rider. Hey, that's not. That's uh, not a bad thing. Bad it's just thing. like I wasn't wasn't planning on that. I wasn't intending that. But <laughs> yeah, a lot of unintended consequences here. <laughs> just I just, I just got to build up some some black on his plating. sharp eye of you out there might notice that the um, front of the models actually have little um, uh, shields on the front. No shield on your yeah. Uh, those are those are custom affectations of mine because they didn't seat properly, and that is an attempt to cover up the <laughs> fact that the armor went a little bit wonky. And none of you would have known that if he didn't point it out. <laughs> yeah. But it's okay. You should take uh, take pride in the modifications that you make to your own models, or something, or something. Oh no! What happened? I don't know. <laughs> a lot of paint spilling out the back of 
Oh, <laughs> it's because it got caught in the lid. Apparently. Eh, that's fine. Maybe for you. <laughs> yes, it is fine for me because I'm not the one dealing with it. <laughs> <laughs> no. Need more paper towel. Suture, apparently. Now, the next step is to find a nice run. <laughs> and I have found a Morn Fang Brown. Cool. It's a good brown. Uh, so what I'm doing here is I've taken uh, castle and gray, or castle and green, excuse me. Um, just kind of filling in some spaces with a slightly different green, so it doesn't look like a big green blob, or <laughs> a big monocolor green blob. that in a bit so it's not coming out <laughs> god dang it why you do this because <sighs> that's the only way to fit them in there <laughs> being too clean with the um, the colors on the chain sword because I know that they're gonna get um, not steamrolled but there there's gonna be blood on the thing later so <laughs> <laughs> not really worth worrying about that much and then I stuck my thumb way into there <laughs> now it looks like I just uh, no never mind I'm not gonna do say not that. finish that sentence this is this is a PG-13 show. Is there a white? Yeah, there is. Okay, cool. Yeah, there's a couple. I think it's just one white. Okay. It white tends to get really chalky though, so just fair warning. 
storm. You know what? I think that's fine. <laughs> it's supposed to be a pill. <laughs> Now I'm going to put some stupid details on his bike. Hooray! Did he have a smiley face on him? I think so. You think I so? I mean, you could, you can... This is just something that you're doing for your own damn self. <laughs> so you can make it up as you go. That's my... <laughs> that's Do my... It? Yeah. Can you have a smiley face on Yeah, him? there you go. I'm blowing on it to make it dry faster if the mic picks it up. Sure it will. I'm um, yeah, relatively certain. <laughs> Gee, CJ, what in the heck are you doing? Well, I'm putting a little bit of red on this pen. Because I don't have a really small brush, and I'm just getting the eyes. Removing the excess with my thumb, kind of get a little bit of a glowy effect, and then, or you could be like me and have expert brush control. <laughs> I say that <laughs> sort of sarcastically, <laughs> mildly sarcastically. <laughs> but this is only the first step in our little endeavor here. Mm -hmm. That's correct. Uh, I would like to mention the little light yellow things I put on the side are supposed to be kind of like 
light veering past it yeah. as it's traveling fast. Because whoever made that shot definitely had astigmatism. <laughs> I'm going to wait to do the bass until CJ is ready so we can do this. To guitar. Yep. Oh, yeah, there's these little rubber things on the side because mm -hmm. they're lids. Yep. Okay. Just. <laughs> <laughs> Um, we got a bunch of technical paints here. Oh, it's a shade. <laughs> uh, I've got a brown, I've got a red, uh, I've got a gray, and I've got a sand. All right, gray. Okay. <laughs> I think I'm going to go Armageddon's Demons here. So, with these, you'll notice that they're schmutzy. Okay. Um... So they have, I mean, so what it is is they have texture to them. So just get a big brush and just, yeah. Definitely get a bigger brush. And just, just go to town. have a smell to them as well. Yep. <laughs> For anyone at home wondering. And now what I'm going to do, because I'm a mad lad like that, I'm going to take some of this uh, excess and I'm going to put it on the wheels of the bike and some on the bottom side. Hmm. I'm not going to do that. That's fair. And with these, these can be washed off as well? Yeah. I'm assuming? Yeah, okay. Yeah, I think so. Nice <laughs> soup, soupy brown, yeah. <laughs> brownish gray here. Mm -hmm. and you can put paint on top of this as well, right? Yeah, once it dries. Yeah, once it dries. How long does it usually take? Not too long. Not too long. It's, I mean, it's just the same. It's the same mix that all the rest of this stuff takes. So while you're doing that, uh, while you're waiting for that, um, you can clip the bottoms off of those, or you can paint your little. Dudes yeah. who are gonna get eat it. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm gonna go over some spots that got missed on my boy. So as you can tell, this is an imperfected print. I'm assuming. Yeah, these are these are all 3D printed. That for whatever reason, and he does not have. Yeah. An arm or most of his head. Head, yeah. And you can bet your sweet butt he is going to get run over. <laughs> He's going to be a bloody boy. <laughs>
<laughs> He's back on it, folks. <coughs> um, let's see. I'm trying to remember what some of the biker dudes <laughs> wore in the movie. All I can rem really remember is the, the clown movie. Yeah. Maybe uh, green. Screw it. <laughs> oh, man. I'm not going to paint these guys up too much. Right. Because these are just... Uh, mm -hmm. This guy, cool red for most of his body. And you'll see why in a second, and that's all <laughs> I'm going to do to him. <laughs> is he going to be under one of the tires? He definitely is. Yeah! <laughs> Get him! <laughs> Okay, so that's well, not right yet, but yeah. getting there. Getting there. I'm gonna hand me one. Oh sure. Yeah, cheers. Yeah, it's yours. So what is your diorama going to look like? Well, it's mostly going to be uh, – so this fella here is not is mostly intact, so I'm going to paint him up normally, these two guys here. So basically it's going to be – this guy is like, you know, midway getting limbs chopped off as he does a drive-by. Mm -hmm. And then the one of these other two guys is like, whoa. <laughs> oh, no. Sort oh of like no. that. Right. Yeah. It should be noted that uh, I've never really done a diorama specifically like this. Well, I've done stuff like it in the past. Um, and this was just kind of a, a spur of the moment, like, um, well, I've got some crap that I'm like not going to do. everything it does on this show. Yeah. <laughs> there's, <laughs> there's not a lot of foresight that goes into some of the things I do. <laughs> All right. I'm going to... Put some extra paint on this texture thing then. Okay. I don't care if it's dry enough or not. Yep. Those lines in the middle of the road are a lot longer than you think they are too. Indeed. There you go. Looks pretty good.
I'm not done yet. Because I have to let that dry before I put the final touch. Yep. <laughs> oh, man, I got Charlie. Killed Frank. Frank. Get, get off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the carnage. <laughs> yep. My Akira diorama. <laughs> it's pretty friggin' sick, dude. Yeah. <laughs> 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 you need any bird? Uh, not yet. I think I'll be good for a minute yet. I'll leave that over there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Did you show that off to the top camera a bit? Uh, if I can move it without it moving. Right. Yeah. We have glue over here, by the way. Yeah. It'll get to it. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> yeah, hang on. Okay, stop squeezing it because it's not coming out. Right? <laughs> yeah. I don't think that's the problem. <laughs> Maybe that was the problem. It is. It's usually the problem. Poke a hole. There we go. Let's <laughs> build over your head, self. Heresy grows from shit. idleness. And of course, I say that <laughs> immediately. All right, I'm going to let that dry. Mm -hmm. I'm going to step off here and go wash my hands. Okay, well, I'll keep. I'll keep cracking at this, and we'll see you in a minute. Your turn. Yes. Boop, boop, boop. Um. All right. I think the about the last thing I'm gonna do to this thing, Marino, is I'm gonna put some uh, put some color on that cabling, and I think I'm about to call this thing finito. Back. <laughs> Sorry about that, folks. <laughs> yeah, well, you were out. Getting uh, super glue on your finger feels super weird, and I was trying to get most of it off, and it's just gonna feel weird for like a day or two. I feel like until like it washes off on its own. But yeah, 
And of course, all the paint on my finger is now super glued to it. So right, <laughs> it's not yeah. going to wash yeah, off. That ain't coming off, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, so, hey, how about that? Yeah. <laughs> it's on there yeah. well enough, and then you just... Yeah. Got my Kira... Mm-hmm. Homage. Homage. <laughs> Oh, dude, check that out. What? I pulled some super glue off my finger. Uh. And it just goes, yoink. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> I do this. This is, this is day in, day out crap for me, though. Yeah. So. Anyway. Um, this is why you need to be careful of super glue. Because, I don't know. It turned you into me. Yeah. <laughs> Woof. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh all right, so hey. Um I feel like we did a cool thing today. Mm-hmm. Don't you, Jeff? Yeah. Good. I'm gonna take a picture of my cool thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and of course it opens to the selfie cam first. You know, the thing that everybody is terrified of. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Diorama Standard. <laughs> yeah, well, so Tabletop Standard is here for anti- anything painting related. So just, like, what can you do with minis and stuff that you don't really have any use for? Well, it's super easy to turn them into a diorama. And you just have to put a little time and effort and thought into it. And lo and behold, you have something kind of cool. Um, and especially now with all this texture paint stuff running around, it almost okay. does the, does that Try kind of grunt again. work for you. <laughs> so is the texture paint new? Uh, it's relatively new. Oh, there you go. Yeah. I didn't know that. So, uh, yeah. So quick and dirty, uh, <laughs> interesting things ending up here. I like it. I'm happy with what I made. Uh, I'm probably going to touch this up at some point later, but, uh, yeah, no, this is cool. Uh, and other than that. I should take a look at Tetsuo's face here. Eh, yeah. 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 I mean, well, I, what, what, what more can you do except splash black and tan on his Yeah, head? I kind of, <laughs> I feel bad because I have one that doesn't have a helmet. And oh. I wish I would have brought that for you, but me. Nee. Either way. <laughs> <laughs> but that one's bald, so whatevs. Yeah. Anyway, uh, so from the Tabletop Standard, that's Jeff. I'm CJ. And as always, thanks for watching. Okay. Be gone with you, thought. <laughs> Excessive, but okay. Oh yeah. Ishin Gray. No more. <laughs> yeah, I gotta restock that one. I'll get back out to the shop floor.
Warp. 